What's going on, folks? I'm about to show you what's probably wrong with your microwave if for some reason it's not heating up. The issue may be is with your high voltage diode, which is right here, which is connected to your capacitor. Before you do anything dealing with this diode, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your capacitor is discharged. Your capacitor carries a high voltage and it can be deadly sometimes. So you may want to look up a video first on how to discharge your capacitor or go ahead and get somebody who's familiar with capacitors and have them discharge it before you remove your high voltage diode. This right here I'm touching is actually your high voltage diode. And this is also what's responsible most time for when your microwave is actually working, but your food is just not heating up correctly. You'll hear the humming noise, but your food is not getting hot is because this piece right here, which is your high voltage dial, is bad. So to remove this, like I said, first make sure that your capacitor has been discharged and that it is not carrying a volt to it. And once you've done that, what you need to do is just one end of your dial will plug into your capacitor. Like on this one, I'm just going to pull it out like that. And once you have that side out of it, next all you want to do is you want to come down to this screw right here. It should be like a, a Phillips head screw. And really all you have to do come down there and remove you got to take that screw out it's also when you take that screw out it's going to loosen it's going to loosen your capacitor also you just want to come down like that and remove that screw it's actually holding down the brace for your capacitor also and once you have that screw removed you can then I want to remove your dial right here. This right here normally is what needs to be replaced when you're having an issue where your microwave is not heating your food up correctly or it's not getting hot enough is your dial right here is bad. So now what you could do pretty much is just take this to a electronics parts store and get this diode and once you connect it back up and plug it back to your capacitor your microwave should be good but once again always use precaution when dealing with a capacitor make sure that your capacitor has been discharged as well as make sure that you're using you know like rubber screwdrivers with rubber tips on it rather as well as a rubber a needle nose plier if you're going to try to discharge it yourself but this right here most of the time is your issue when your microwave is not heating up. It's pretty much a cheap fix. You can just remove this. Once you get your new one, you come in, do the same thing. You want to plug it back in to here. Uh, screw it back down right here, then plug it back on to the same spot on your capacitor that you removed it from. So you may want to make sure that before you remove it from your capacitor that you take a picture or something. Remember exactly where it went at because... When you remove your dial, you probably already had your other wire. See how that came loose? This is your capacitor right here. Now let's go ahead and pull it out. Yeah, see, this is your capacitor itself that you want to make sure that you've discharged. But on this one, if you can see this little slot, uh, the bottom one, yeah, right here, if you can see, right below the orange wire that's where the dial was plugged up at is on that little terminal right there on that one so you want to make sure you remember exactly where you unplugged it from that way when you hook it back up you can install it back in the right place again and once again this is your high voltage dial which is most likely what's going to be wrong with your microwave if it won't heat up it means it comes on but just won't get hot all right folks once again, this is how this is probably what's wrong with your microwave if it won't heat up when you're trying to warm something up in your microwave. Please check out our other videos and please subscribe. Thanks.